You're five steps ahead of yourself. Why not just wait and see what happens in court? Because it'll be too late by then and I don't want to leave this to chance. Fine. OK, if you get sent down, the kids can come and live with me. OK, problem solved. Can you please stop stressing now? What do you want to happen? Well, actually, I was hoping they could come and live with you and Dad. Wait, what? Of course they can. No, wait. Sorry, what happened to family discussion here? Well, there's more room at ours. There's more cow muck and all. You heard what the doctor said. We've got to be so careful with Sarah with infection. Right, and being around a pub full of punters, that's safe for her, is it? You two both shut up. Nothing's going to be perfect. When they stayed at the farm, they loved it. You're still going to see them all the time. Oh, wow. Well, thank you, Moira. Are you forgetting he swanned off on a business trip days after Sarah had her transplant? He knew that she was OK. Oh, well, that makes all the difference when you're 13 and you're terrified. Look, I couldn't see her. Could I? And, and I've got to earn a living as well. I'll do whatever you need for the kids. Thanks, Dad. Oh, thanks, Dad. Now, grow up. Go easy on her. She was in the right state yesterday. Oh, why? Because of Joe? No, about everything. Oh, come on, we all know. It always boils down to that waste of space every time. You're getting all this, are you? I just came in for a drink. Well, you're out of luck, because guess what? The pub's shut. To you, anyway. For what it's worth, I'm sorry she got hurt. Well, it's worth nothing, so get out! We need to get back in a minute. Yeah.